Hi there! And the topic for today is a transparent attribute, but also keep it. So I have a simple setup here. It's Mr. Einstein and the sphere. And I just put a uh, quick animation on a sphere. And see, we're going to use the color attribute just because it's easier to see it. But you can use the same technique for any attribute. And I have the black. So it's the values of 0, 0, 0, and I have the red. That's the only difference is on the vector, the first value is 1 uh, on our, our channel. So let's drop an uh, attribute transfer. And the first input is the one you want to transfer to, and the second input is going to be the one you're transferring from. Very simple. Well, you see the whole Einstein had changed the colors. But we want only the, the color attribute for the point. So let's specify the CD for, uh, for color. And now we can adjust uh, some, some attributes here, some parameters. And I'll reduce a little bit the distance threshold. So I have a fairly small model here, so the value is going to be quite small. And now you can start to see that actually the attribute has been transferred exactly where the both geometry intersect there. Right, have the right line here. You could use this transform this in a volumetric, and now everything inside the sphere would be also red, because you're going to have information inside. But you see you have this very uh, sharp edge. Let's just drop a long blur attribute. Does it give us some more smooth transition there? And we're just in interactions there. It's a very high value though. <laughs> and it of course you tell that you want not the P attribute, but you want the C D attribute. There you go, we have a very smooth transition between them. But we want not only as it's passed through, but also we want this to keep the red color as it go our long. So we're going to need to use a solver, a sub solver for for deal with it. So let's drop to here the the solver. And dive inside it. So the way it works is you have the preview frame and actually the current frame, and now you can compare. Uh, so we have the start framing uh, simulation, and we want to copy this attribute. And the reason is before we start simulate, there is no preview frames. Uh, there's nothing to compare before. So we're going to put a switch and uh, put the input there. And we're going to use a quick expression here, a conditional, just to switch the, the input right after the start the simulation. So just say for the current frame, it's greater than the start simulation frame, that attribute we copied here, it does switch. And let's put that wrangle node here. And what we want to do is comparing. We're going to compare the previous frame color with the actual frame color and see if it's diminished the value. So let's first uh, get the value of the previous frame. So we connect this in the second input. And we just drop a very uh, easy vax expression there. So it's a color, it's a vector. So there it goes, a V. Let's call this a pre-V color. And the function to, to do it is the point attribute because you'll be going through all the points. And it is just say the, the input you're using. So it's the second. So it starts from zero. So zero and one. So you drop there one. And you tell the attribute you want. So CD. And for which point you want. You want this for the, actually the same number point that the one you're scanning that you're looping through it. So it's going to be just uh, at pt num, and here you go. It's going to fetch that information on. 
and now we can do the comparison. Comparison. So you're gonna say if at CDR, that means you're just comparing the red channel. You you could have to compare this with the all uh, for the vector itself, but just keep it simple. So it's just the R channel with the preview color X. Uh, that's relative to the R channel as well. So if color red is minor, or it has diminished from the preview color. So you want this just to cop the preview frame. So now you say CDR, you're going to equal preview color X. And it should work for now, well, hopefully. And if you scan through, of course, now it it's it treats as a simulation. So see, it's skipping all the attribute information there. And you can see some bending there in the very beginning. And it, of course, when the back of the sphere passes through, it kind of clears some of this. Uh, it could be a cool feature, but you can adjust some of those values there, or also the step of the simulation. So we're going to analyze between frames. And pretty much now you're keeping your, your attribute there. Well, that's this for this week, and uh, thank you very much for watching.